Good evening everyone, if you don't know, you should know my name is Ramiz Khan and I am a filmmaker and a film critic and my brain has been urging me to re-watch a TV show, a cartoon show from my past when I was a little kid, a teenager, and that show was called Time Squad. Before I start this review, I just wanted to say if you are interested in watching this TV show, this cartoon, all the episodes are on YouTube under the username Carlo Framov, which is identical to the name of one of the main writers of Time Squad. Now, I don't know if it's the same person, but I don't think it would be a stretch to say that it's the actual writer uploading this TV show. If it is, thank you so much, Mr. Carlo Framov, for letting us watch Time Squad. Now let's get on with this. Time Squad is one of my favorite cartoons of all time. I remember a time when cartoons used to be excellent and pretty thought-provoking. I was really excited when they announced this show based off of the premise. And what's the premise, you might be asking? Well, here it goes. The Time Squad live in the future where the world has become a utopia, but the past keeps on messing up somehow. So the Time Squad are the people who go back in the past to fix the past and make sure the future isn't harmed. They're like a police service for the thread of time. It's such a great idea and a little fat nerd like me who's obsessed with comic books, science fiction, and pro wrestling, I was all about Time Squad. I was obsessed till this show debuted, and boy, it didn't disappoint. One of the neat things about this cartoon was how much I learned about history. No joke. It's, it's an episodic show, and it follows a simple format. The Time Squad's alarm goes off, they look at the computer and see wh who's causing the trouble. Otto Osworth, a little kid character, a know-it-all brainiac, tells us about the historical relevance of that person, and then the Time Squad go back in time and see what's wrong with it. This show would never get made today because of the social, political atmosphere we're living in, with every everyone getting offended at the littlest and tiniest of words, such as humongous. But it's because the writers of the show did have a ton of fun writing this show, and a lot of what they did could be seen as offensive. Every historical figure gets a very imaginative new job or alternate job. Beethoven is a pro wrestler, Blackbeard is an animal rights activist, the Wright brothers run a carnival, Albert Einstein is a used car salesman in Texas, Napoleon is pussy whipped, and the best of it all, the Boston Tea Party was an actual tea party. Samuel Adams and John Hancock are a bunch of fruits with makeup and wigs and they're drinking tea. It is hilarious. That's my favorite episode, my second favorite being the one about the Hatfields and the McCoys. But what good is a great idea without a believable world, great characters, and great setup? Thankfully, Time Squad delivers on all three of those departments. We follow three characters, the leader named Buck Tudrussell, his robot assistant named Larry 3000, voiced by Mark Hamill by the way, and an orphan named Otto Osworth, who is the history buff, who is the expert position vehicle of this show. Buck and Larry are like a bickering odd couple and they possess a very poor knowledge of history and that's where Otto comes into play. Buck is my favorite character. His super ego, his machismo, and his dumbness gel very well with the feminine Larry 3000. He's a very dumb but very likable character as well. One of the main reasons you like a dumb character is so you can get away with stupid lines like this. Check it out, Lewis and Clark! Great Caesar's ghost! We're gonna make Superman! <sighs> That's Lois and Clark. Lewis and Clark were sent by Thomas Jefferson to explore the uncharted frontier known as the Louisiana Purchase. Well, then who's gonna stop Lex Luthor? <sighs> Rob Paulson does the voice of Buck Todd Russell. Rob Paulson also voiced Pinky in Pinky and the Brain. And Mark Hamill is fantastic in anything he does when it comes to voice work. It's a very reserved Joker performance. You will find hints of the Joker's voice in Larry 3000. I've already said that the show had great setups, but the world is really believable as well. The Time Squad live in a space station, which houses its own jail. There's more than one unit of the Time Squad. They had a recruitment commercial in the show. It's all very real and feels very organic. I friggin love this cartoon and I suggest you should watch it as well. I binged both seasons in the span of a day. The longest running episode is 15 minutes. You can literally watch it in less than six hours if my clock is telling me right. My final rating on Time Squad is a perfect five out of five. A masterpiece. This show holds up very well even a decade and a half later. Thank you so much for watching people. If you enjoyed this video please hit that like button. It does help me out and feel free to hit that free subscribe button. But until next time, remember to love yourselves.